having some issues? Lauren will help you out with the assistance of our listeners. Let's do it. Get at Lauren. It is the Y107 Morning Show. I'm 26, and I just married into a family with two kids. My husband's kids are 8 and 13. I get along nicely with the 13-year-old. We both love shopping and watching the same TV shows. But the 8-year-old boy is a whole different story. This kid is feisty, and he gives me the you're-not-my-mom routine. I'll ask him to do simple chores around the house, and he always has to talk back to me. My husband tells me his son will come around. He says it's just a phase. I don't want to be disrespected after joining the household, but I also don't want to be the evil stepmom. I just want to fit in. How can I get him to come around? Hmm. That's tough, and it happens all the time. All the time. All the time when you've got the blended family scenario. Not all the time is it the 8-year-old, and there's going to be a time where the 13-year-old daughter, as she gets more into her teen years and has some rebellion streaks at 16 or whatever, there, there's going to be those moments, too. Of course. And, yeah, no, you are not their mom. Right. You know, you're a bonus mom. Right. Which I kind of prefer that to step anyway. You do. But you're, you cor- have to look at it from the kid's perspective, uh, I, I agreed. too. No, agreed. Agreed. If the kids don't see it as a bonus... It can make a really, really awful situation. Sure. I mean, I think I think um, she really needs to um, drive home the point with her husband that she needs more support and not just to be dismissed. Mm-hmm. Like you know that he's going to come around because that's that's not how kids operate. They need guidance. They need direction. They need some authority, some healthy healthy um, means of authority. And um, because it's only going to get worse. And especially as, you know, he, he, he come, goes in on in his in his tween years, I guess. Like if he's eight, it's just a matter of time before it goes to hell. Yeah. I so mean, there's there's I a lot of hormones really, coming in the next few years. So, yeah, it could get way yeah. worse. Absolutely. And if you don't get ahead of it now, and I say that she talks to her husband and um, she says that she is not going to come home until... You know they can figure this out together oh, wow. as a team because right now she's operating operating as a one woman show and that's not cool. Okay, no, yeah, you're right. This, I I agree with you, especially that this is only going to get worse with age, and it's something that needs to be stopped right now. Yep, I say leave until he comes around and says that he will support her and in, in what needs to happen next with the eight year old. We got a text from Kara. Kara said, "So I was this kid. Both of my parents remarried." I love my stepdad, but despise my stepmom. It was all about the approach. She referred to us as Doug's kids, Mm. not her bonus kids. Her and my father didn't seem like a team. I never remember seeing him support her or back her when she'd tell us to do something. Whereas with our stepdad, my mom backed him and they were slash are very much a unit. He never asked or expected us to refer to him as dad, but we always had to respect him. In this case... Dad needs to be on stepmom's side 100% and show the kids he supports and loves her very much. Mm, Good stuff. Yeah. Seeing them as a parental unit, not just stepmom as the outsider, is paramount. So I have, I am a stepmom myself, and actually our hardest age was four. What we have done is I spend one-on-one time with him um, and make it really special and do a bonding day with him, especially when that attitude starts to come back. We'll say, okay, we're going to do another bonding day. And I validate the feeling. Yes, I'm not your mom, but this is still our household and this is how our household runs and how we can work together. And that has honesty and validating feelings and bonding moments have really helped us. So you think extra time with the kid is more beneficial than just backing off. Yeah, making him feel part of the family and validating those feelings. And letting him be in the process of what that day is. What do you want to do, man? What do you, you know, and, and let him kind of build it and create it with you. Absolutely, and we always have to go to Sky Zone, but that's fine. <laughs> it makes him feel special and it gives us that moment that he can think of me and it makes me that bonus mom. Yeah, the fun time that he had with you, the fun memory of you rather than this woman that just moved into my house. Right, and it's not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. Um, I've been doing this for, we're going on eight years. We got a text that I am the mom and my husband is the bonus dad. Like others have said, I back him anytime he asks our son to do anything. Even if I don't agree, we will discuss that later when their kids are not in earshot. However, I do think it is very important to have bonding time too. 
My husband has struggled with this a little bit. Uh, and what helps him is to get down on my son's level. And the kid is seven in this text. Uh, so what his, the son enjoys is videos and video games and like the, all the classic games of I'm watching somebody else play a video game and then yeah. there's conversation. And so the, the husband, she says, gets into that and joins the conversation connecting not only with her son but with the video. And it means a lot to the kiddo mm-hmm. that, hey, bonus dad here is he gets it. He's This he's, adult is taking interest in what I like. He's having some fun and I'm teaching him about Fortnite and the different levels yeah. and worlds and weapons and whatever and You guys got to have each other's back, too. Right. Let's go to the phones. Rachel, what do you think? So I think that kids are just super fragile, especially in situations like this. And if you come in like a drill sergeant and you're firm and bossy, then they're just going to resent you even more than they probably already do. So I think it's really important to build a bond and a relationship with them first. Let dad handle the discipline, let dad handle making them do chores, all that. And then once you build that bond and they trust you a little bit more, then they're going to respect you more. And it's not going to be a problem when you start asking them to do things because they actually respect you. Okay. I I agree a a lot on the dad needs to to be the one. You can't come in and be the heavy and be the one doling out groundings and taking phones away. No. That's still got to be dad here for sure. We don't know how long this couple's been together and and all that stuff. So Yeah. And I think maybe down the line she could be that person. But like I said, they've got to respect her first and it takes extra extra work to get that from a kid especially if they've been through you know a divorce and mom is not in the picture or might be in the picture part time they don't want somebody replacing their mom so there's got to be that level of respect there our at lauren today is having some issues with her stepson he's eight years old and um Pull in the You're Not My Mom card. She gets along okay with the 13-year-old stepdaughter. Um, not so much with the 8-year-old. And her husband is saying, like, it's just a phase. He'll grow out of it. And my biggest thought on that is, hell no, sir. No, no, no. You are not going to be a passive yeah, These are your person kids. in this. They're your kids, and this is your wife. And this is the... Re- I mean, the next 10 years can be really, really good or really, really crappy, depending on how you answer this. The only thing that I heard today that advice-wise that I don't agree with, our caller from the lake, Angela, said, you need to tell your husband that he needs to back you up 100%. Amen. However, you cannot leave. Oh, no. You cannot back down even for a second because that is going to reinforce his negative behavior. And in his mind, his eight-year-old mind is going to say, if I show my butt enough, this lady's going to leave. She's going to jump ship. All I have to do is be bad enough. And then the behavior is going to escalate. It's going to keep getting worse. Ten times worse than it is now. I agree. Spend time with the kid. However, tread lightly on that, too. Because he has his own opinions. He has his own boundaries. And that's why I brought up with that caller that he needs to be in the planning of that. Also, if he doesn't want to do it, you can't force him to do it. That's going to cause resentment. The one thing that I wish we knew more about was the situation with the kid's biological mom. Yeah, where's bio mom? How much time does she have? If you could get her on board, it would be a game changer. Mm -hmm. I know that that's easier said than done yeah i am but we don't know what bio mom is saying about new mom behind her back i'm stepmom mentioned that she is 26 based on the fact that the oldest daughter is 13 i'm assuming that biological mom is older yes and my thought on that is if she is saying things like negative about stepmom and that's a whole nother level of of hurt and distrust and and, you know i'm blessed in my personal situation having a blended family that that my ex-wife and my new wife get along right and we you know we've all made different sacrifices for the kids but not everyone is willing to do that amen and you know so many people it's toxic the other way and yeah and they're trying to sandbag no matter what well and honestly I'm not throwing shade at our adder, but we don't know her situation either. She may be the one who's saying, I want nothing to do with this woman. This is at Lauren on the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren.